My great grandson, we don't let him play out here. We stay on the other side of the house, in the back of the house. Neighbors call it a magnet for drunk drivers. Two different cars crash into the same home just days apart. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 11. I'm Ken Boddy. The latest driver to crash damaged two homes. Coin Local 6 reporter Jolie Wanaga is live in Washington County tonight with the latest crash involving a drunk driver. Joel. Ken, good evening to you. Neighbors here along Southwest Rock Road call it much more than a coincidence, much more than bad luck on a dark night like this. Homes to see until it's too late. Take a look. This car wedged between two homes. The 2003 Honda Accord totaled, taking out a fence and damaging both houses, including Gwen Tomlinson's. And this isn't the first time. It was hit twice in three days. Uh, bad luck. <laughs> she has bad luck, real bad luck. 26 year old Kimberly Veed of Portland was driving the Honda. Washington County deputies say her blood alcohol level registered twice the legal limit. And believe it or not, Gwen's home was hit by a another suspected drunk driver on Wednesday. As a result, she doesn't allow herself nor her family to stand in her front yard. My great grandson, we don't let him play out here. We stay on the other side of the house, in the back of the house. And next door, Gwen's neighbor clears debris from his smashed wooden fence and spent his Saturday putting up this new one. He tells Coin 6 News off camera that intoxicated drivers headed north on 198th Avenue don't realize it ends before it's too late. Gwen says it's about time for a retaining wall or more scenes like this and she fears next time she or her family could be seriously hurt. I would just would prefer if they would do something you know maybe put some cement in the front of the yard where the cars would be forced to slow down if not they would hit the cement. In other words a rude awakening for anyone who decides to get behind the wheel while under the influence. Back live now, that suspect, Kimberly Veed, was arrested. She was lodged in the Washington County Jail. Her charges include reckless driving and, of course, DUII. Reporting live for you tonight, I'm Joel Iwanaga, Coin 6 News. Ken, we'll send it back to you. Thanks, Joel. Meanwhile, two people are recovering from another crash in North Portland tonight. They were riding in a car when it crashed into a retaining wall on North Lombard. So far, it's not clear what caused the wreck. Both people were taken to the hospital. They are expected to survive. Authorities are still investigating.